Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. This lab will be one last lab focusing exclusively on ACLs. This time, we will configure named standard ACLs, as opposed to the numbered ACLs we configured in previous labs. Also, remember that standard ACLs filter based only on source address, as opposed to extended ACLs which use other parameters such as destination address as well. Our first requirement is that hosts in the 192.168.1.0/24 and 192.168.2.0/24 networks should not be able to communicate with each other. To do this, I'll configure outbound ACLs on R1's F00 and F10 interfaces. First, let's create the ACL preventing hosts in the 192.168.2.0/24 network from communicating with the 192.168.1.0/24 network. On R1, enable conft Numbered ACLs are configured with the command access list but named ACLs are configured with this command, IP access list. Now let's check the options. We'll go with standard for this lab. Let's check again. Now notice you can also create a numbered ACL with this command. However, let's give it a name. Two to one, meaning from the 192.168.2.0 slash 24 network to the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network. Now let's check the options. There are none. So clearly this is different from our previous ACL configuration. Let's hit enter to see what happens. As you can see, we have created a, or sorry, we have entered a separate configuration mode. From here, we will configure the contents of this ACL. Let's check what options there are. Let's create a deny statement first. Deny 192.168.2.0 0.0.0.255. Now let's check the options. There are none because this is a standard ACL, so we only configure the source IP that we are filtering. Now let's create one more entry to allow all other traffic because there is still that implicit deny any at the end of the ACL. Permit any. Exit. Okay, that's it. Before applying that ACL, Let's create the second ACL to prevent traffic from the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network from reaching the 192.168.2.0 slash 24 network. IP access list standard one to two. Deny 192.168.1.0.0.0.255. Permit any. Okay. We have created both ACLs necessary for the first requirement. Now let's apply them. Exit. Uh, first, let's go on F00. Interface F00. On this interface, we will block traffic from 192.168.2.0 slash 24 from exiting the interface. So IP access group 2 to 1 out. Now let's apply the other ACL to F10. Interface F10, IP access group 1 to 2, out. Now let's test this configuration. I'll try to ping from PC1 to PC3. Ping 192.168.2.13. Doesn't work. We get a message saying destination host unreachable. And to PC4, ping 192.168.2.14. Same thing. Just to make sure, I'll do some pings from PC3 as well. Ping 192.168.1.11. Doesn't work. And ping 192.168.1.12. Okay, so looks like our configuration worked. Now let's go to the next requirement. Hosts in the 192.168.2.0 slash 24 network should not be able to access the 192.168.3.0 slash 24 network. Remember the general rule that standard ACLs should be 
applied as close as possible to the destination. In this case, the destination is 192.168.3.0/24. So let's configure the ACL on R2. Enable conf t IP access list standard 2 to 3. Deny 192.168.2.0.0.0.255. Permit any. Exit. Now let's apply it outbound on R2's F00 interface. Interface F00. IP access group 2 to 3 out. Finally, let's test. I'll try to ping from PC3 to server 1 and server 2. Ping 192.168.3.100. Destination host unreachable. Ping 192.168.3.101. Destination host unreachable. We have successfully completed this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, please consider contributing to my Patreon patreon.com slash jeremy's IT lab. I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or basic attention token donations in the Brave browser.